Alrighty then, uh, so what I'm showing here is how I um, attached the coil, a secondary coil in a PV, well, wrapped around a PVC pipe you can see there, onto the top um, part of the case. And basically I have this, um, this flange in here with a rim on it. That I, I've glued in with epoxy glue after sanding the surface to make sure it has a really good adhesion, um, good key for the glue. So I glued that in there and it's printed out with these holes around the circumference. As you can see there now with the bolts in them. And then I um, obviously need to drill through those holes and through the um, PVC pipe. And these are 3mm bolts, I think they're about 10mm 10 mil long um, and these lock lock nuts on there so I have four of them in place and that gives me a really uh, solid um, solid base there so the thing doesn't fall over um, and that line there is the secondary and this is a plug for the ground wire so I finally got um, everything assembled and ready to um, well ready for the lid to be put on on the base and I've tested that things work um, now in retrospect this isn't the best design for the case because I've got it in two halves and they're kind of equal halves where I have the um, pots and the LEDs on the top and also the fan on the top this means I need these long wires um, that are long enough to have the the um, the lid on its side like this so I can actually um, plug everything in before lifting it on top of the, the base whereas a better idea probably would have been to actually have this base close to full height and just have the lid which would be over here, have that lid as an inset to the bottom case. Um, and then I could have all of the, the uh, pots and the LEDs um, on the base and wouldn't have to worry about these long leads. Um, however, it's too late for that now. I've gone ahead with this design and um, I just need to make sure that when I put the lid on, or the, the top half of the the, uh, the case that I get everything in place and none of the wires bind on any parts, especially the um, heat sink there. Um, and for those astute watches, you'll notice it's in grey rather than in the previous colour, which was like a clear PLA or a, a natural PLA, and that's because. Um, I realized I needed a bigger power supply that's a 300 watt, um, well, bigger transformer. I needed a 300 watt transformer versus the 50 watt transformer I had before. So I had to redesign the entire case. Um, and I didn't have, I just, yeah, I just decided to go with this gray filament, which I like. Um, and also, I realized that the pots were a little bit too close together, so I spaced them out a bit, a bit more to make it easier to have access to them. Um, so just to go over the pots, that's the frequency control and I think what's this one here is, what is that? That is the secondary tuning and that's the primary tuning. So they're both in the off positions now. So that's the tuning LED and that's the power LED. Um, so there's the transformer down there. I've got my mains switch with a 3 amp fuse and also there's a 3 amp fuse uh, in on the board itself. Um, the board comes with a 5 amp fuse um, but I think that's actually a little too high and I'm not going to be putting more than 300 watt through this. Oh yeah the switch there, um, I've just actually hot glued it in place for the DC switch because um, that switch is actually intended for probably move the camera down a bit lower. that switch there is actually intended to be um, soldered onto a board um, but I couldn't find I couldn't find a DC um, DC jack and switch 
specifically for mounting on the side of a case so I just uh, adapted it um, and the fan comes off the um, DC power jack there I've basically got it in parallel with the input to the board um, and I use the JST connector here just in case so like if the fan fan craps out need to replace the fan or need to replace the switch these are actually separate they can be separated without having to um, unsold wires um, that board is a new board the um, old board which I have here um, gave up the ghost and I couldn't be bothered troubleshooting it um, I would assume it was probably the IC components they tend to be the most sensitive um, but I decided instead just to go and order a new board from the same same um, person on AliExpress and unfortunately they have changed the board design to the point that um, the mounting holes are actually slightly narrower um, and so I've had to hot glue them in on the stands um, rather than actually print an entirely new case I just hot glued it in on this, this side but on the back side um, the bolt holes are fine and also rather disappointingly they removed the 12 volt um, output for the fan which is why I had to uh, take um, output from the DC jack to go to the fan that heatsink does get very hot in operation and so I think a fan is really um, required 